welcome back to the show. Paul Odie is here from Point Blank Martial Arts. Jeff is so excited I am a little about this because you're a fan of this. I'm a big fan, yeah. Exactly. Uh, so today we're talking about some MMAs. Yeah, uh, some mixed and martial arts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I actually know what I'm talking about. And Thai kickboxing. And Thai kickboxing. Okay. Um, Thai kickboxing is actually a component of one of the arts that you'll see in things in mixed martial arts in the UFC. Uh, used to be in when Pride was around and that kind of stuff. Um, so our club has a variety of, of what's commonly known as the combat sports. Right. Boxing, uh, Thai boxing, uh, MMA, but we also have the fitness side as well. But you know, today we're here to show you a little bit of, of Muay Thai or Thai kickboxing as it's commonly known. And it, there's been such an explosion, I mean, globally. And everyone knows about the men getting involved in MMA, but the women are really starting to get involved as well, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Uh, women, uh, that's one of the common misconceptions that, you know, you see the UFC, it's all these big burly guys mm -hmm. fighting it out, when in fact a lot of women are very interested, especially recently we see a big insurgent um, of women wanting to participate in, in it as a, either as a sport competitively mm -hmm. and to just do it recreationally because it's great from a fitness standpoint. Because these are high-level athletes competing, um, so there's a real high fitness level, but there's also the sort of a personal protection right. and, and a few feeling of almost yeah. of empowerment for them um, that they can get in there and, and do this with anybody else. All right. Are we ready for a demonstration, Paul? Yeah. Um, we have a couple of my students, um, Chris DaCosta and Constantine Frid. Uh, come on in, gentlemen. Uh, come, yeah, guys are going to demonstrate a little bit of, of some of the basics that Let's we see in, yes. in Thai kickboxing. Um, Thai kickboxing is a little bit different. Um, then North American style kickboxing when restricts you to only kick above the waist. Uh, Muay Thai uh, has its and Thai boxing come from the traditional art of Muay Thai in Thailand. It's been around for about 2,000 years. They call it the science of eight limbs because not only does it involve the hands and feet but also the elbow and knees. Um, so what you'll see okay. basic is some some combinations, some jab cross hooks, just like you would in in sort of boxing. Um, you also allow the elbows and the knees, mm -hmm. the kicks. Um, one component that Thai boxing has that uh, you don't see in boxing, but you see a lot in MMA, is called the clinch. Right. Um, so allowing the opponent to have a limited contact where they can hold the opponent to throw knees and elbows. Uh, they're also allowed to throw the opponent to the ground, although the, the match is then stopped and, and then they will continue from there. Um, it's a very intense sport. Chris is actually yeah. um, a provincial champion this year. Um, uh, he's been competing now uh, for about six months. Uh, and so he's got a pretty hard workout routine. So we're going to have these guys do something called the Super 8, um, which you're going to see involves all of the Thai kick, all of these strikes, kicking, elbows, knees, as well as Thai kicks. Um, what we're going to also have them do is throw what we call an escalation drill. It's a common drill to help develop your fitness, and a lot of people will do this. Um, he's going to start out with the, uh, turn the pads aside. He'll kick once, then okay. one, two, one, two, three. He'll come back down, three, two, one. But typically we'll go to 10 and back down. Holy so they're right. doing like 100 and, you know, 121 to 200 kicks to develop those legs. Ooh, I love it. So I think just being around this is, <laughs> I don't know. Does it you feel excited? Yeah. Well, that, a lot great. of people will, when they see uh, the matches on TV or they'll come visit the club, after feeling the energy of, yeah. of a class, they want to They want to get in there because the energy level is so high. Now, is that a bit of a reality check for people? Because they see it on TV and they think they can just step in and go. It, you know what? That's a big problem with this, and, and part of the reason the UFC, um, in, in terms of parents with, with younger children, um, it has such a negative connotation around because they see it as fighting. Right. What they don't realize is the discipline and the training and, and the fitness levels um, that these people put into being able to do that. And then what they're seeing is professionals. Right. Uh, exactly. You know, when we have we have kids as young as three to six year olds doing mixed martial arts. Now they're not doing choke. Going, and submissions or anything like that. Yeah. Um, they're just learning the basic individual arts that kind of mix into being what they call mixed martial arts. Kickboxing, boxing, wrestling, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. And, and, and it really does give them a high fitness level right. at the same time as giving them focus. Oh, absolutely. Just looking at their physiques and the way that they're training, it involves a lot. Like, it's, it's a serious... It, it's a full body workout. Um, unfortunately, a lot of people are intimidated when they see what goes on, but uh, we have women, moms, we have a mother and son who come into the club. Yeah. We have one father who's got his two younger sons uh, participating in classes. Um, we have one uh, boy who comes in with his dad occasionally. He's 12 years old, and, and they're in it together. And you know, it, it can actually be quite an enjoyable activity for everyone. Fantastic. Uh, for, for the entire family, whether you realize it or not, visit the website pointblank.ca and stay tuned because when you come back, I'm going to be putting Chris in a triangle. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> Welcome back to daytime, everybody. Paul Odie is here from Point Blank Martial Arts. We just learned a little bit about mixed Thai boxing, or Thai boxing. Now we're going to do a little MMA on the old mat. 
Paul, what is the biggest difference between, say, standing and boxing and then moving to the mat? Uh, well, standing and boxing is strictly the hands, so your footwork and stance are a little different. Um, you have to focus on different areas of defense. When you start getting mixed martial arts, as soon as they add the clinching, the wrestling, and the takedowns, it completely changes the game. Um, even though the aspects of the basic boxing striking is there, mm -hmm. uh, once you get those other components, it's a whole other game. Right. So this is mixed martial arts this is mixed see. martial okay. arts what we're going to have these guys do is, is start from their stand-up position so you'll typically see them getting into some striking and the next piece what they'll do is start to shoot in so when he shoots the legs he's moving around to a wrestling position and here he's going to a rear naked choke um <laughs> that was good yeah. that was, now, that was like fairly that quick was uh, but what, you'll, what, what they were incorporating <laughs> is the stand-up skills, right. okay. um, going then to the ground into some wrestling, and then some Brazilian jiu-jitsu submissions. Uh, what we'll have them do here is say, go focus on the ground. He's going to start from a, a side position, which is called a cross or a side mount. Right. What's going to happen, he's going to move to a top mount, which is a common position you'll see in, in competitive things like the UFC. When he moves to the top position, Chris is trying to defend as he's throwing strikes, and here he moves to an arm, arm bar. Beautiful. So, you know, nice simple stuff. Um, when you break it down, unfortunately, you see it on TV, there's all these things going on. Happening and, at once, yeah. And sometimes you don't see the subtleties that happen that make the difference between these guys being able to do it. So we're going to do this last one, and then, Jeff, I'd like you to try out. Okay. Is Constantine's going to be in what's called inside a guard position. Chris is going to have his legs wrapped around, so Constantine may be punching from there. Yeah. But Chris is going to actually apply a triangle choke, grabbing in Constantine's arms, bringing his legs up, and applying a triangle choke here. So I'm going to okay. want that's you what, to actually... That's what, that's what a triangle choke is? That is that's called a like. triangle choke. You want okay, so this go guy down doing that? I want him to put no. Chris into it. It's, uh, actually, yeah, e yeah. it's actually easier than Chris it looks. Chris is going to be nice to me, he promised. Okay, so I'm going to go on my guard here. Yeah, and Chris is going to go on the inside. So okay. what you're going to do is first you're going to start with your legs closed. Okay, like It's called that. the closed guard. Punch them. You're going to want to keep your hands up. Yeah, you're going to keep your hands up. Now what's going to happen is you're going to grab Chris's arm, the one that's hitting. Okay. All right, I want you to hold that nice and pull it in nice and tight. So take, I'm pulling him closer. Yeah, pulling him so a little gonna closer. Step up. Step up. You're going to take this leg yeah. and bring it as far over across his neck as he can. And you might have to grab his head with okay. the other arm to help. So I pull that out. Pull yeah, this pull down. Pull that down. Bring this leg across. Yeah. And you're going to put this leg right over top like that. Oh. Now what you can do is pull his head and knees, squeeze your knees, and kind of stretch him out a little bit. And then what it does is it... Boom! He feels a choke hold. Tapped right out the so champ. I tapped, tapped out, out the champ. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Chris. That was just bananas, ah. Jeff. Oh gosh. Okay. That didn't so, so <laughs> <laughs> anybody can learn, though. That's the that's oh, sure. the point. Yeah. I mean, it, these guys have been training for years and years and years. They're experts and professionals. But if you want to do something different, oh, yeah, get active, and you're exactly. interested in this, just go to a class and try it out. A lot of people are bored with a, a, a gym. They're just getting through these same routines. So why not do something a little different? That's not only going to get you fit. Right. It's going to teach you some skills uh, and, you know, maybe even a new sport and, and something and fun. Talk yeah. about the confidence that you might have feeling like you can actually defend yourself regardless of what happens out there. Yeah, and, that, and that's where MMA is different from some of the more traditional martial arts is you are dealing with the stand-up range, mm -hmm. the clinch range, the ground range, which if you're in an unfortunate situation of self-defense, those are the typical things you're going to have to deal with in right. a more realistic environment. So by learning these things and be, being comfortable being in that position, mm -hmm. um, you're going to probably be able to handle things a lot better. You also, uh, we want to mention the kids, yeah, because we, you're doing a kids mm, fit program and a kids, uh, yeah. Just yeah, we have kids. our MMA programs, but we just recently started up this week um, we have a, a fit kid program. It's, it's a non-martial arts fitness-based program for kids just to get fit. Uh, it's a fun class. They're going to be doing a lot of sort of calisthenics right. and, and games that keep them going. We want to try to get away from the fact that not everyone wants to do martial arts. Not everybody wants to get out and play sports, but their parents want them to get off the TV and right. the get Xbox. Although not games? this show. They want them to no, watch no, the show. They want them it's to... It's educational. Yeah. Daytime is educational. That's right. Daytime educational. But they want them to get out in an environment and they're not competitive athletes. They're not the hockey players and the right. soccer players, but they want them to get a, a certain amount of fitness. And that that's what we're going to provide them with. It's just a general, uh, non-sport specific fitness program for kids. Okay, really right. quickly, BJ Penn or GSP? GSP. That's a mistake. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. The website is pointblank.ca. They're located in Aurora. Definitely check them out for a new you. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Keep It and Psyche features accessories from...